Hey guys, it's me Sam and today I, it is Thursday so I am doing my diet vlog. Now I'm going to be completely honest guys, this week I have been completely pants with my diet, very pants indeed. And I'm going to kick off with last Friday where I started the day with two cups of filter coffee. Uh, the filter coffee in question is this I got this believe it or not from Poundland for a pound as you can see it's Leon's freshly ground coffee it's a gourmet Italian which is rich evening coffee I, I've usually basically been having this with a drop of milk and a teaspoon of sugar which is something I want to stop doing like very soon uh, and basically just go to drinking it black but yeah um but food wise i didn't eat anything and and then i was really naughty again and i skipped my lunch as well because i had a job interview to go to in redditch remember at fresh insurance uh so instead i i grabbed myself a, a little cappuccino from a little cafe in redditch while i was uh, over there didn't really do much to fill me up but it kept me going um, so, so obviously, um, by the time it came to uh, dinner time, I was basically Marvin, proper, proper hungry, and, and there's like smoke going everywhere for my cigarettes. I do apologise about that. So, try and fill myself up at dinner time. I, I had roasted sweet potato with bacon, yes, bacon, uh, some salad, and also some spicy chicken wings. I picked up also from Poundland for a pound. Throughout the day I snapped on custard creams a boost bar and then I went and completely messed my calorie intake up by having a hot chocolate before I went to bed. On Saturday I started the day with two cups of instant coffee and once again I skipped breakfast. And I'm going to blame that on Stu because he came round in the morning to see us for a bit. Um, as I said, we're still staying friends, so even though we're not together anymore. It, you know, I don't see why we can't be friends. And we've got the kids still to think about. And yeah. Well, anyway, because I didn't have breakfast, I kind of like made up for it at lunchtime. And I had a sausage sandwich with brown sauce on white bread. Oh my God, it was just like the best thing I'd eat in flipping forever oh sausages oh my god i've forgotten just how nice they taste they taste really good especially with brown sauce mm, yeah i know not very healthy but it was in a way because i grilled the sausages i didn't fry them that's a big no-no in my house always grill sausages and then for dinner i had garlic sauteed a bit of potatoes <laughs> red hot Texan wings and loads of broccoli uh, and concerning snacks throughout that day I had one equal cupcake that my daughter made uh, and this time I actually stayed within my calorie intake on Sunday I once again skipped breakfast and instead fueled myself on two cups of instant coffee uh, for those of you that are interested my instant coffee favourite is Nest Cafe Gold Blend. Um, looking a little bit flustered here, guys. I'll probably talk about it a little bit more in a, a different video, but for now, um, I just gone and got myself a new job. Uh, right. Well, well where was I? Um, well, obviously because I only had two cups of coffee in the morning and no, nothing to f eat. Um, by eleven o'clock in the morning, I was absolutely starving, so I had a packet of sea salt and vinegar cracker crisps by Special K, which is by Kellogg's, I do believe. And then for lunch, I made myself a strawberry and banana smoothie. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Uh, I also had a raspberry biscuit moments by Kellogg's as well. And then for my dinner, I made a sausage casserole with mashed potato for mine and Connor's food. Mmm, sausages again, yes. Um, but yeah, I made it from scratch, all by myself, and believe it or not, it wasn't actually that full of calories. But there are ways of still eating food without them being full of calories, trust me. Um, however, on the evening, I got 
the munchies and I ended up filling my face on a lot of Jessica's lovely little cupcakes which by that point were completely covered in icing and that wasn't enough so then I went and fed my face on a full bag of fizzy coca-cola bottles I couldn't resist the urge however believe it or not I stayed within my calorie range right on Monday oh I look all blurry yeah mm, sorry teary eyes and I, I don't know why I'm crying I, like, I should be happy uh, on Monday I was really silly and I hardly ate all day uh, for breakfast I had a cup of instant coffee and then wondered why I was filling my face on not one but two raspberry biscuit moments. For lunch, I had a tomato cup of soup and two rye crisp breads to dip into it. Uh, but once again, by 4 p.m., I was hungry. And so I naughtily had a cup of butter crinkle biscuits by Foxy's. Mm. However, I did try to redeem myself by cooking cheese and potato pie for our dinner, which I had with half a plate of broccoli. And I'm now going to attempt to show you a quick, hang on, it's on my phone. Okay, there, I don't know if you can see it, there you go. That is what I had that night, as you can see. I like to make my cheese and potato pie in individual little containers. Um, and what I do is I tend to make about four at once and then if the kids want anything to eat they can help themselves um, and if you're wondering what that weird looking orangey stuff there it's a big blob of mustard I like mustard I do indeed but the kids don't and what I like to do is mix it into my mashed potato it's so yum and as you can see look there's broccoli but that's, that, that's what I had to eat that day uh, on Tuesday, I started the day with a cup of instant coffee and then made my very first green smoothie. I'm going to tell you now what I put in it. I thought it might be easy if I just show you at the same time what I did. Right, first things first. I took an apple, like so, and I, cu I, I, I cut it into slices and cored it so I don't want the core in there. The core just tastes rank. So in that went and I blitzed that first. And, and then I um I got a kiwi and I cut that into slices and took the skin off and chucked that in. As well as some cucumber. Cucumber, yes. A few slices of that. Then to help it become a bit more liquidised, so I slapped in some natural yoghurt. I got this from Asta for about... 90p I think it was, might even have been cheaper, good price anyway. And then finally, I, I took some of this and I whacked that in and then I blitzed the whole stuff together and boom, my very first green smoothie. And you know what, it actually tasted really, really nice and I'm not exaggerating, I'm not just making it up, I'm being deadly serious, it tasted absolutely gorgeous. And not only that, it kept me going to lunch where I had two slices of rye crisp bread thinly covered by soft cheese. And then I went and blew my calorie intake away by cooking chilli con carne for dinner. What messed that up was the fact that I did garlic bread to go with it and that was a bad thing. And unlike last time when I spoke about my diet frog, um, I said I was going to make my own garlic bread from now because I didn't like the frozen garlic bread. Didn't make my own. But this time it was fresh, so it weren't frozen and I found it cooked better so it wasn't so rank. I actually did enjoy it and I did only have a couple of slices. It's not like I had the whole baguette to myself. I did share it with the kids, I promise you now. But then after that, I went and I had like a quarter bar of dark chocolate. I couldn't stop myself. It was just there going, Sam, Sam, eat me, eat me now. So I did. Ha <laughs> ha. You caught me. I'm having a sneaky cup of coffee this afternoon. I'm treating myself. I just got myself a job. I am happy. 
So, yeah, I, I'm just doing what I usually do. I'm having a cup of coffee and I'm having a cigarette while I do this simple stuff. Right, yesterday uh, I started the day with two cups of filter coffee and a bowl of strawberry granola with natural yogurt. It was this stuff. I'm just going to... This stuff from Morrison's. It cost me £1.30. Look at the size of the bag. This is going to last me like forever. And apparently you can put this in smoothies. I'm yet to try it, but I'm going to. Um, so yeah, I had some of that uh, with natural yogurt. Uh, however, once again, my 11 a.m. I was hungry, so I had a, a packet of uh, salt and vinegar pa cracker crisps, and then for lunch I had a cheese pasta mug shot, which I actually really enjoyed and found to be quite yummy. Although I do like to, pref I prefer my own cheese sauce. Nothing and no one beats my cheese sauce. But this, I'm not going to say it was close because it wasn't. It was just pleasurable. Uh, and then for dinner, I had a piece of chicken breast with hot and spicy coating on the top of it. Some baby leaf, a rocket, a salad, uh, some cucumber, and then some French fries. And once again, I stayed within my calorie intake. Right, well, this morning, I woke up to a huge mug of instant coffee made for me by Connor. Yes, that's right. Connor, this is a first. I don't know why. Um, for breakfast, I had a bowl of that granola with natural yogurt. And then for lunch, I had a banana and peanut butter smoothie, which I really, really needed after burning off 300 calories, walking two miles there and two miles back to my job interview this morning. And this is the job interview that I have now got the job for Talk about quick or what? I can't believe it. I still can't believe I got the job. It's just like, <laughs> if I had a bottle of wine, I'd be celebrating right now, but I don't. So, coffee should do for now. Uh, right, for dinner, I am planning on doing me and Connor and Jess burgers. And I'm doing my more healthy version of a McDonald's. Um, I've got some rolls, got some nice burgers, got some nice salads. And Jess wants a piece of bacon on top of this one with melt some cheese and some onion rings. And oh, it's going to be yum, nom, 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 nom. And I'm really looking forward to it. So that's my diet frog for this week. As you can see, I haven't really had healthy, healthy this week. I've just tried to stick within my calorie intake, which some days I did. And then some days I just didn't. It happens, guys. It's just, it's just one of those things. But what I forget to mention is that if I'm sat here drinking a cup of coffee at the moment, I don't normally do this anymore. I do prefer to drink green teas. And um, I've been drinking these green tea and strawberry and forest fruit tea bags. This is me drinking tea. The tea that I once found I would never drink again because I don't like tea. Tea normally makes me feel like I'm going to be sick. But these teas don't. They taste like really nice. Especially that one. That just tastes like green tea. Which is like a mild tea flavour. But it's all good. And it's good for you. And mmm, green tea. I would also like to point out that due to the fact that I am pretty much skint at the moment due to not having a job, I have now, I have now, ha ha ha, so yay, and oh, it's even more money, so, <gasps> um, yeah, oh god, I can't wait to get back into having some wages, oh, anyway, I've been skinned, so literally, if I've needed to get anywhere, that's within walking distance, for example, that job interview this morning, I've walked, for example, if I needed to go to the job centre and see someone there, I've walked there, and I have walked back, job interview this morning, it's right, right in the middle of nowhere up by the canal so it's like in the countryside it's down country lane um it's not it's down the Hanbury lane and when claire comes over with gorgeous aaron on their honeymoon um i'll take you up there and show you mm, it's not far from Hanbury all so it's, it's it's good i'm gonna help it's gonna help me lose weight guys my bum will disappear and then I can go back to Boots and then I can tell that nasty little lady that told me I was fat. Not overweight, fat. Screw you, lady. Meh. Right, I think I've done enough waffling. I think I might have lost a 
brew somewhere. I've gone nuts this afternoon. It's the caffeine, I reckon. It's kind of like set me hyper. <laughs> um, scary or what? Right, enough waffling. I'm going. I'll be back next Thursday with another diet vlog. And obviously, I'll be back with another makeup tutorial, just some kind of other waffling. Um, but yeah, at some point I want to come back and talk to you about this job. I got a job. I'm so happy. So happy. Uh, yeah, so you take care of yourselves. And uh, if you've got anything to say, leave it down there. And other than that, I'm, I'm doing one. So see ya. Bye. I'm going. I am. Really.